Hace unos días fuimos sorprendidos por las declaraciones del ex congresista Henry McElroy por el estado de New Hampshire, quien ocupó un puesto muy importante en la administración de Dwight Eisenhower. Él nos dice que el presidente Eisenhower en realidad tuvo un encuentro con seres extraterrestres. Estas declaraciones han impactado a la Unión Americana y es parte de la nueva conciencia. Escuche usted directamente a este congresista. I would like to submit to our nation my personal testimony of one document related to one of these ongoing topics which I saw while in office serving on the state federal relations and veterans affairs committee. The document I saw was an official brief to President Eisenhower. To the best of my memory, this brief was pervaded with a sense of hope and it informed President Eisenhower of the continued presence of extraterrestrial beings here in the United States of America. The brief seemed to indicate that a meeting between the President and some of these visitors could be arranged as appropriate if desired. While I can't verify the times or places or that any meeting or meetings occurred directly between Eisenhower and these visitors, because of his optimism in his farewell address in 1961, I personally believe that Eisenhower did indeed meet with these extraterrestrial off-world astronauts. I hope my personal testimony will aid the nation in its quest for continued enlightenment. I am honored to follow in the footsteps of those who have come forward with their personal testimonies, those who deserve the admiration of the American people for sharing their accounts publicly in an effort to elevate our knowledge to a higher understanding of our existence. People such as former astronaut John Glenn, Edgar Mitchell, Gordon Cooper, and Buzz Aldrin, just to name a few. Former presidents Ronald Reagan and Jimmy Carter. Captain Bill Uhouse of the United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel John Williams of the United States Air Force. Colonel Philip Corso, Sr. of the United States Army. Commander Graham Bethune of the United States Navy. Along with David Hamilton of the De Department of Energy, Donna Hare of NASA, and James Coop of the National Security Agency. I would also like to thank the countries of France, Brazil, Britain, Russia, Italy, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, New Zealand, and our neighbor to the north, Canada, Uruguay, and Australia, for also opening their files to the citizens of their countries and allowing them access to information that is so very important to the evolution of humanity. I thank you for allowing me this opportunity to have a small part in doing the same by sharing the information I have given you today. Thank you very much. And I'd like to thank our communications crew for helping us make this happen today. And I'd also like to...